verses are extremely difficult to make because this is an orange. That's right, today we're going to be creating an explosion tutorial. The main reason why I created this tutorial is because most explosions I see on YouTube are just awful. So without further ado, let's jump right into Adobe After Effects. Open up your video by pressing Ctrl I and drag it into the new composition icon. Open up your explosion video and place it on top of your base footage. If necessary, chroma out the unwanted color. Add a glow effect to your footage. It's a very simple effect, so I'm not gonna to cover too much about it in this video. Next, add a light yellow solid to your footage and set the video to add. Press T to lower down the opacity to about 25%. Then click on the square mask and hold it to find the ellipse tool. Draw a mask around the explosion and feather it out. For more information about masks, check up on my masking tutorial. Select your base footage and press Ctrl D and rename the copy to Lighting Matte. Place the video on top of both layers. Add a brightness and contrast and a hue and saturation effect to your video. Bring the saturation down to zero and bring up the brightness and contrast. Add a fast blur effect to your video and bring up the blur to around 11. Set the solid to Luma and add a new adjustment layer. Rename it Shockwave. Add a bulge effect to your video and stretch it as far as you want. Create a new solid and set it to black. Place the iris swipe effect to your video and set the iris points to max. Move the iris center to the middle of your explosion. Look up the colorama effect and add it to your video. Set the input phase to alpha and the output cycle to ramp gray. Bring the white triangle down to the bottom. And select change empty pixels. Lower down the opacity of the video to see when the explosion starts. Keyframe the outer radius from very small to ginormous in about 15 frames of your video. By the time you reach the end of your explosion, lower the opacity from 100 to 0%. Trim the solid to begin when the explosion starts. Set the shockwave adjustment layer to Luma Matte. I'm going to create a mask so the shockwave sits on top of my counter. This is optional. The last thing to do is to create a camera shape. Pre-compose all your layers and click OK. This part deals with expression control. It may seem difficult at first, but bear with me. Look up the slider effect and add it to your video. Click on your footage and press P to enable position. I'll click on the stopwatch. An expression should appear. Click on that. Type wiggle open bracket 18 comma then click on the swirly icon and drag it to the slider control. Then type close bracket semicolon. The first frame right before your explosion starts, keyframe the slider at zero. The first frame of the explosion should be set around 50. At the end of the explosion, keyframe it back to zero. Playing the clip, you should see your video shake dramatically, then die down. The last thing to do is to scale up your footage so you don't see the black borders when it shakes. Scaling it up to 115% should be fine. After all this, your video should turn out very well and you can explore almost anything you want. Hey you guys, thanks for watching my explosions tutorial. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and make sure to share this video so others know how to make a good looking explosion. That's it you guys, I hope this video helped, I'll see you next time.